good morning welcome to a brand new lecture on electrical engineering in today's uh, session we'll be learning about the current divider and we'll be finding how to establish like in the previous class we went to the voltage divider and understood the polarities of uh, the voltage divider and the directions and voltage rise and the voltage fall so uh, let's start with the current divider so what exactly the current divider is See, suppose if you are having a pipe okay let's suppose you are having a water tank over here so this tank is having 10 liters of water okay uh, 10 liters of water it is having and now what you have you have another system out there okay that is connecting to another tank okay whose capacity is suppose 6 liters okay 6 liters and similarly uh you the same pipe is moving ahead and the same pipe goes ahead and its capacity is around 4 liters 4 liters so what we notice is that if the water is flowing through this point and the 10 liter water gushes through the pipe and fills this pot up to 6 liters and the remaining water flows through this path so you can see that this network is not connected in series okay so if there is a point a over here okay there is a point b over here so you notice this point a is still here okay same point is flowing okay the same pipe is going till here and the second point over here is a ground point that's a different point over here so this network seems to be in parallel so the current division as you can see over here current division will always happen in a network that is parallel okay so uh, unlike the voltage division current division current divides divides in a parallel network in a parallel network and this division would depend upon the type of voltages uh, that uh, we are employing sorry uh, the type of resistance that we are employing suppose we have a network like this instead of tank i have a voltage source plus minus v okay and instead of other tanks holders i connect a resistor over here okay so this resistor is r1 hmm. now uh, to for it to be in parallel so if i draw draw like this hmm, so it is not in parallel you see r1 and r2 this is only a simple node so in this network the current division is not possible so what but this network is a series network in series network your current remains same okay current remains same but voltage divides okay now for current division what we do is that let's draw another network this is my plus this is my minus and let's take this hmm, resistor r sorry uh, let me rub this yeah so yeah let's take this point over here so now what i do is i make a resistor in parallel okay. this is my r1 is in parallel with another point that is my r2 is in parallel r2 is in parallel so this is my voltage over there this is my current same like that 10 10 liter water now the current is like this now 10 liter water is flowing through this okay this suppose this is that small tank okay consider this is that tank one consider this is a tank two okay so this current will flow okay tank one had a capacity of four liters six liters in the previous day, so, so it flowed through this and suppose this tank two it has some property so here at this particular node okay this is a node where two and more points are meeting see here uh, where two or more see only if two points are meeting at some point this is called a simple node 
but more than two points you can see this is called as a junction okay so here we are seeing we have a junction from here current i is coming so current entering the node is i and leaving the node is i1 and i2 so from kcl kcl what states kcl states current entering current entering a node current entering a node is equal to current leaving a node okay current leaving the node nice so i can write my i is equal to i is equal to i1 plus i2 so in the voltage divide uh, this current divider circuit our voltage is same see voltage remains same if this voltage will get applied here also v here also v okay because there is no drop okay voltage remains remains same so if my voltage i take my total voltage is equal to total current i into the r equivalent so this v would be equal to i into r equivalent in other terms i can write my i is equal to v by r equivalent okay so for the time being i'll rub this network so that only in this page we'll be understanding yeah nicely okay so yeah now from these equations let's suppose this was one okay and let this be two so according to the current divider network so my i1 would be equal to what i1 would be equal to v by r1 similarly my i2 would be equal to v by r2 so if i want to see how much is my r equivalent that is my i i is nothing but v by r equivalent okay from the equation 2 so if this is equation 3 from the equation 2 i can write v by r equivalent is nothing but as i okay i which is nothing but the summation of v by r1 plus v by r2 in other terms i can take my v common v by r equivalent is equal to v by 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 so v v gets cancelled i can write my r equivalent after solving the equation is equal to r1 by r2 r1 plus r2 now uh, what i have seen my i is equal to v by r equivalent okay so that is my case or v is equal to i into r equivalent so if this is my equation 4 so what i can write over here hmm, from this particular consideration if i have to get the value of i1 okay so what what can i write if i want to get the value of i1 how can i write it tell me by now most of you must have written i1 would be equal to what i1 is equal to v by r1 v in terms of v is equal to i into r equivalent so i can write i1 is equal to instead of v i can write i into r equivalent divided by r1 so therefore my i1 would be equal to i r equivalent i already calculated r1 r2 r1 plus r2 so this is my value of r equivalent divided by this r1 is remaining here r1 so r1 r1 cancels now if i need the value of i1 so i can write the value of i1 so how do i write the value of i1 i'll write i1 is equal to i1 is equal to i r2 divided by r1 plus r2 so this is the value i got from these equations for the current division so i got my i1 is equal to i into r2 r1 plus r2 on a similar grounds if i need i2 i again know i2 is equal to v by r2 okay and v was what v was equal to v v was equal to v by r equivalent was equal to i so on the similar grounds i can write v is equal to r equivalent substitute over there the value of v so i get i into r equivalent divided by r2 so r equivalent is nothing but i 
आर वन आर टू डिवाइड बाई आर वन प्लस आर टू सो आई एम हैविंग दिस आर टू ओवर हेयर ओके दिस कैंसल्स दिस कैंसल्स माई फाइनल इक्वेशन इज आई वन आर वन आर वन प्लस आर टू सो यू नोटिस लाइक इन अ वोल्टेज डिविजन इफ यू हैव अ वोल्टेज डिविजन योर वी वन इज इक्वल टू वी इन टू आर वन आर वन प्लस आर टू ओके बट इन अ करंट डिविजन योर आई इज इक्वल टू आई इन टू अपोजिट रेजिस्टेंस आर टू आर वन प्लस आर टू सपोज यू डोंट हैव द टाइम इन द एग्जामिनेशन यू कैन रिमेंबर दिस ओके सो दिस वॉज अ लिटिल इम्पॉर्टेंट एज फार एज दिस करंट डिविजन इज कंसर्न now let's understand there are other networks in in particularly of understanding uh, of resistor arrangement so there is one particular configuration that we are uh, seeing you have studied also okay so there is a network called as the bridge network or the resistive bridge and ladders so let's understand the resistive okay resistive bridge and ladders so as far as the resistive bridge is concerned you have a voltage source over here okay plus minus vs and you have a bridge like this in some problems uh, you will be facing such problems so you don't get confused over there so i'll be explaining you how to deal with these bridges in a very sophisticated manner please pay attention suppose uh, this is the bridge and uh, here in what i see is that i have a voltage output voltage is here the difference output voltage v not is here this plus this is minus and this is my r1 okay this is my r2 r1 r2 r3 r4 now this point a this point b now if i want the value of v not so how do i get the value of v not so value of v not if you clearly not notice is the uh, voltage between point a and point b so it is the voltage bit across this okay point and this point okay so plus network is getting if from here you see it is getting connected to this point okay minus network is getting connected to this this particular point so between this point and this point a and this point there lies r2 okay so similarly between plus point and the b point okay so you see between plus point and b point what what resistance is there you see r4 resistance is there between minus point okay here minus point here uh, this is the minus point okay minus point this minus point and uh, between a point what resistance is there minus point and a point what resistance is there you will notice r2 is there so what is v naught basically v naught is the v naught is the potential difference between point a and b it is the potential difference between potential difference difference between point a and b so what would be the potential difference between point a and b so if we see clearly it would be vr2 minus vr4 now if you see clearly what is vr2 see um, see here this is a network if I, I i i solely take this network okay wherein i have connected vs okay across r1 and r2 so between uh, r1 and r2 there is a simple node okay so here it's a voltage divider network so if i can write my vr2 in terms of voltage divider network so if i'm considering the r2 so i can write r2 r1 plus r2 into v naught okay sorry into vs into vs because the source voltage is vs okay so if i divide uh, this by r2 so this becomes 1 and i can write uh, this by uh, 1 plus r1 r2 yeah what i have done i have divided and multi divided here a numerator by r2 nothing i have done see here divide this by r2 divide this by r2 so r2 by r2 is 1 and 1 1 plus r2 into vs on similar grounds if i want vr4 same thing vr4 would be the r4 divided by 
R1 plus R4 into Vs. So this is nothing but a volt. Now I divide by what? I'll divide by R4. So R4 I divide numerator and denominator. So it will result into 1. So no problem. This is my Vs. So this will result into 1. 1 R4 R4 1 plus R1 R4 into Vs. Okay. This is V. So what I can write is my V0 is equal to in terms of here I can write V0 is equal to was VR2 minus VR4. So instead of VR2 I can write 1. Okay. 1. 1 plus R1 R2. Okay. Into Vs. Hmm, minus 1. 1 plus R1 R4. Sorry, here uh, we have to particularly R4. Here the network, uh, it's not R1. It has to be R3. R3, okay. So this has to be R3. This has to be R3. So it would be 1 plus R3 R4. Yeah. Into Vs. In other terms, I can also take out Vs common. I can write V0 is equal to Vs. 1, 1 plus R1 r2 r2 minus 1 plus 1 plus r3 r3 r4 so with the voltage divider equation so i i get this equation as v0 is equal to vr2 minus vr4 wherein these are two voltage divider bridges and i can separate this and i can write the equation in terms of 1 1 plus r1 divided by r2 minus 1 by 1 plus r3 by r4 into vs so this was uh, one of the configurations uh, suppose like uh, let's suppose let's in the same bridge arrangement uh, let let's do one problem okay uh, so plus minus okay suppose vr2 is equal to vr4 vr2 is equal to vr4 in that scenario we will say that the output v0 is equal to 0 and the bridge is balanced bridge is bridge is balanced and this is possible only when see when your opposite side resistance that is r3 r1 into r3 would be equal to r2 into r4 in other terms you can write r1 is by r2 is equal to r4 by r3 so this is the condition when the bridge of uh, when the bridge is balanced and this is more predominantly the wheat stone bridge which we have seen in in your 12th class so this is the wheat stone bridge arrangement that is employed in measuring resistances is employed here voltage divider network so this is an important concept over there now let's do a, uh, one problem and let's wind wind out for today and also there is a particular combination of uh, resistive ladders okay this is my plus okay same bridge network r1 r2 this is my r4 r3 i'm connecting it here this is my v0 okay this this is a point and this is my b point okay that is connected here hmm? okay so i write my r1 r2 r3 and r4 let's suppose uh, my vs is equal to 12 volts r1 is equal to r2 is equal to r3 is equal to 2 kilo ohms okay so uh, we what uh, find v0 so we need to find v0 if r4 is equal to 1 kilo ohm uh, and repeat it repeat it if r4 is equal to 3 kilo ohm see simple formula okay we have the formula v0 is equal to what 1 divided by 1 plus 2 by 2 because it is r1 by r2 minus 1 by 1 plus r3 by okay into 12 so it will be 2 volts same thing you have to repeat for another uh, volts uh, another reading so this is about the uh, this network in the next coming session 
we'll be studying about the raised two ladders and if you are new to the channel please like share and subscribe the channel thank you very much for your love and support thanks a lot yeah for today So this is uh, 